Germans are world champions of standardization. Way back in 1917, we founded the DIN, the German Institute for Standardization, one of the leading bodies standardizing products in the world. We created DIN 476 standard that introduced A4 paper to the world in 1922. This later became international standard ISO 216. But how did we manage to get the world to see things our way? And which norms and standards do Germans know? I know the environmental norm. The order norm, the punctual norm and the politeness norm. Uh, European Union uh, food and health norm. There are 31,000 German standards in all. 18,000 of these have been adopted by the European Union. That leaves 13,000 that are only valid in Germany. Vigor is visiting the Association for Electrical Technologies in Berlin, a body that sets the parameters for many new engineering standards. Why do we need standards? Standards constitute the highest safety levels in Germany. Mm -hmm. They are very important for our economy. German economy saves 16 billion euros a year. Oh. And also, of course, they are important for usability. All right. Life without standards would be difficult, to say the least. Vigor's next stop is at the German Institute for Standardization, the body that sets and approves German standards. Here I've had my interview request turned down. They say my reports don't meet with their standards. Oh dear. Vigor now heads off to the Federal Institute for Materials Research and Testing. They also help develop new standards and are willing to talk to him. What is going on here? Uh, we are looking to the concreting of reference concrete, which is used all over Europe uh, for the um, testing of uh, surface protection systems, for example. Okay. This is where they test whether new materials are compatible with old materials that conform with existing standards. If the concrete passes, it gets a certificate of approval and can be used right across Germany. Vigor heads back to the Association for Electrical Technologies. How did we Germans manage to standardize the world? Germany is the country of engineering, and our engineers over 100 years ago, they needed standards to develop the products. And even today, we have the leading role of standardization in electrical engineering, and we are proud of it. Oh, okay. Germans are very attached to their standards, but how well do they know them really? Let's see if the average German can cut out a sheet of paper as close as possible to A4. That's exactly 21 times 29.7 centimeters. This lady gets off to a confident start, but the end result is 3.7 centimeters too wide and a shocking 4.8 centimeters too long. Oh dear. Next up, this isn't very tidy, but it is actually amazingly close to A4 size. Just a little bit too big. Wow. This clever lady seems to know that A4 is exactly one sixteenth of A0. What she doesn't know is that the paper she got from Vigor is not standard. Never mind. And the final standardized German clearly has no idea at all, but still wins the hearts of many viewers around the world. German's ability to estimate standards is definitely not up to standard. Finally, Vigor heads back to the Federal Institute for the answer to one last important question. Why does the A4 paper have this unusual size of 21 times 29.7 centimeter? Because uh, A4 is based on A0 and uh, for that uh, format uh, the uh, base side is to the length side uh, in the ratio 1 to uh, root 2 and so the length uh, is uh, defined. Oh. So now you know, standards can be complicated but they make life simpler. The search goes on, the search for the truth about Germany.